There are a number of phenomena which will increase the activity of the stomach, increase the gastric uh, motility, the contraction of the smooth muscles of the stomach, and increase uh, the secretion of gastric juices. This would include the parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system. This would include the sight of food, smell of food, the taste of food, the thought of food. So the brain can control the stomach in the cephalic phase of stomach control. A phenomenon in the stomach can increase gastric activity and secretion. So when there is food in the stomach, evidenced by stretch in the stomach, uh, an increase in the pH of the stomach. So thus, when the pH increases, this means that the acidity is decreasing. This occurs when there is food in the stomach. And also the presence of peptides in uh, the stomach, which will cause the secretion of the hormone gastrin from the stomach itself. All of these things are ways of increasing gastric activity, and these are mediated by the stomach itself. Some things will inhibit the stomach. Some of these might be uh, begun in the brain, such as the thought of stress or things which might nauseate us. Also, the intestine can inhibit the stomach. Since the small intestine is small, it wants to slow down the activity of the stomach if it is already full of material. And so the presence of ingested material in the small intestine can slow the activity of the stomach through two separate means. Through nervous reflexes, uh, this is known as the enterogastric reflex, and the, also through a number of hormones. The small intestine can produce hormones which slow the stomach. These would include CCK, secretin, and the gastric inhibitory peptide GIP.